What's up, Print Fam? Welcome to sunny Las Vegas and the Printing United Expo. Today is technically day two. I should have been here yesterday, but I missed my flight. But I'm not sure how we're gonna split up this video. This might be just a highlight video, and then we'll have individuals about the different products that I wanna showcase, things that I find. Um, so who knows? But this video is sponsored by firesprint.com. Make sure you check them out in the link down below. More on them a little bit later on in the video. Let's go get registered and get in to the show. All right, we're currently at the Digitech booth. They've started out as a few different things, but they've got some really high speed printers. So the nice thing about their setup is it's a flatbed printer that I think will print like 60, 65 boards an hour. If you get two of them, you can get up to 130 boards an hour. But the cool thing about it is they pair it with a conveyor belt system. So that as soon as it's done printing, it'll off feed onto a conveyor belt and then automatically feed onto your cutter. So it's almost done printing. We'll watch that process. So you can see it's got one or two more passes. And then as long as they don't flip it over, it should feed. I can't remember if this is the first or second side, but they should be feeding this right onto the conveyor belt. Maybe. Oh, it might be a flipper. It's a flipper. Okay, hold on. Didn't pick it up. That's hilarious. Good old Trechos. It was supposed to. The other thing with Digitech, they are partnering with Canon to offer the Canon Texas, which is the exact same machine as this one, just the Canon White. So it's 3,000, up to 3,000 square feet per hour. It's a five by 10 flatbed. So if you're looking at a flatbed, check them out. All right, here is a plastic supplier. Uh, they got a bunch of locations, 52 plus locations. So if you're looking for PVC, foam core, core plast, anything like that, a lot of rigid substrates. You guys do flexible too, right? Flexible media, yeah. So they do lots of lots of different stuff. So if you're looking for stuff. All right, we're here at the Stimson booth. They have got a bunch of different products. They'll punch holes, do grommets, different things, and a lot of different material. I know in the Facebook group, someone was asking for a tool that will punch holes in ACM. I'm going to go find a sample piece, and they said they'll be able to punch a hole. So I'll get that for you. But if you want to be able to punch holes and do different things, grommets, they've got automated, semi-automated ability to punch grommets. So check out Stimson. They are... Let's see. Stimson.com. The machine comes down, punches the hole. Sweet. All right. Do, are, do you have different dies so they can cut different yes, sizes? Yeah, we can do whatever size he wants. We just need to know what size and we can make dies. Do you for. have, so like you can buy separate dies. Yeah. Just for different sizes. So just be able to from like swap a, the die. Uh, I wouldn't do eighth inch with that material because the die probably won't hold up. But I would probably say you start like a quarter inch, three eighths, seven sixteenths. And you should do those, those three with no problem. So on this style machine. And do you have bigger ones? Yes, we do. We have bigger ones okay. that can do up to probably like an inch hole. Does this have like a starting price point? This one starts off at 2500 Okay. And it's that new matter? It starts off at 3500 All right. What's the difference between this these two? This one's made in Spain. That one's made in uh, Connecticut. So American both, made versus Ford. Solid. This one has a full pedal. That one here. Got it. So it all depends. Like if you have a bigger piece, you want two hands on the material. You know, it all depends on how you want to work. Got it. So perfect. But they're both quality. They're not. They're not junk. They're not going to like fall apart after a year. Beautiful. Now you could adjust that so you wouldn't wind up with that ring. Right. Okay. Um, Right. And then, and then you can dye buys in different sizes, right? Perfect. 
All right, I know a couple of you guys have been asking about new places to get blades. So we've got Cut Guru here. They provide non-OEM blades through their manufacturer, so you can get it for any cutter. They'll even provide you reference charts so you can see the OEM model number versus what their model number is. So check them out, cutguru.com for non-OEM blades. Save yourself a little bit of money in the process. So check them out. All right, we are at the McLeod booth here at Printing United. So welcome back, Print Fan. They caught my interest because these are converted to Epson printers to do DTF film. So you can get a 24 inch wide roll fed DTF printer for $6,000. If you want to pair it with a manual powder, manual carrying process, you can do that for about 2,000 more. If you want to go automated, you can do about another 6,000, get the automated heating and powdering unit. If you want to go a little bit more and get automatic powder returns, a couple thousand more. I'm not sure it's worth $2,000 for automated powder, but for about $12,000, you can get a fully automated negligible cost. He gave me this print, which is an A3 print, 50 cents to do it with color and white. So super affordable, like especially if you want to do manual process, $6,000 for a DTF 24 inch wide printer. That's an Epson American based product and manufacturer. I don't know if Epson itself is, but at least these guys are American, which makes it really easy to get support, easy to get product. So check them out. All right, print fam. I know I said we were gonna maybe do a generic video of what's going on, but things have been too crazy to do one. So we'll have some snippets here and there in the basic video. But I did stop by the Melco booth. There is nothing new that they've released. So the latest is the EMT 16X. That's the machine that I have. I love it. It's great. So no new improvements at the show, uh, but they're still rocking hard. It's still my favorite machine because they got the active feed system. So you don't have to deal with the tension of the upper thread. So that's Melco. So I know a couple of people on the Facebook group asked about Silicon Edge graphics. There's quite a few vendors here. This one is Display Factory USA. I've got a really thin portable one. I'll see if I can find a few others that I saw. I know Display, um, or let's see, Orba, I'll find them. But this is a super skinny one. It seems to be like about two inches rather than the standard four inch. All right, here's Orbus. They also do uh, the Silicon Edge graphics, pull up banners, trade show type stuff. Yeah. So. All right, so we're here at Printing United. We have one source, BPO, Business Process Outsource. They help you find outsourced employees at a flat hourly rate. So instead of having to find your own VA, they will help find someone for you in either the Philippines or India. They have offices in both countries that will work for you full time, your time zone, and help do any of these tasks from bookkeeping to Amazon, back end, e-commerce, graphic design, all that fun stuff. They can do really anything for you. So kind of like how I use Tutu Creative or Penji in the past, it's someone that you can pay an hourly rate that works dedicated for you. So basically an online VA. Anything to add to that? That's it. All right, well, check them out. I will link them down in the description. All right, welcome back, Print Fam. We are at the Convertible Solutions booth. I know last week someone asked about doing sandwich business cards. They've got a solution that doesn't require gluing the process. So they have specialty material that you can print directly on and it has an adhesive on one side. So if you're doing a business card, you print basically the business card one on one sheet, one on another, sandwich it together. If you're using this product and you have a guillotine cutter, the process of guillotine cutting will bond the adhesive together. So it doesn't require any additional steps, additional coatings. If you're doing something like me where I have a Duplo, you would have to pressure seal it beforehand and then cut it, which frankly, with my Duplo, I don't think it would cut this thick. They have 11 color options available. You can buy direct from them. The other cool thing that they have is they have this soft touch sheets. Again, comes 13 by 19, and it's got that soft touch laminate feel without having to coat it first. So they did say that more coverage makes it have less of the soft touch feel, but if you have minimal design like this one, 
Like it's got that nice crispy soft touch feel that you get from laminating with soft touch laminate. So make sure you check them out. Um, this here shows the process of molding the sheets together. So again, convertible solutions, I'll have their information down below. All right, Prevam, little just general show update. There is a ton of garment decorating, which the only thing that I've really shown is transfers and I do direct film stuff. Uh, but they've got a bunch of DTGs, every brand, brother, Cornet, Cornet, however you say it. Uh, every brand I've never heard of as well. Uh, m &R, Rock, all the screen printing type stuff is here as well. But I outsource all that. So I'm sorry if it's an, of an interest to you. I don't know the right questions to ask. But it is here. So if it's something you want to be able to have access to or see, Make sure you try to go next year. Printing United is scheduled to be in Atlanta, Georgia. Sorry I don't have the mic plugged in, but I know in the Facebook group, uh, people were asking about different standoffs. So this is a French cleat, um, different standoffs, different sign holders. So mbs-standoffs.com. All right, Prefam, this side of the show seems to be mostly like the paper products, so envelopes, sheet goods. There are some flatbed stuffs, but honestly, I'm not super interested in that. So there's not much for me to film on this side. I did walk through the whole thing to see if there was anything cool that might help you guys, but I didn't see anything other than what I've already filmed from this section. So we're gonna wrap this video. Hope you enjoyed Printing United. Thank you, firesprint.com, for sponsoring this episode. You can learn more about them and the services they offer with the link down in the description. You can save 10% off your first order. They do yard signs, stickers, banners, all that fun stuff. So make sure you check them out. Thanks again for watching. Thanks, Cam, for editing the video. We'll see you all in the next one. Printing.